everybody, Danny O here, and today I'm making a series of videos on Breath of the Wild on tips and tricks that's going to help you out. And obviously, this video is going to be on farming the shards that you need from the dragons. We're talking the scales, the claws, the teeth, and the horns. These dragons are pretty elusive. We see them every now and then, but they're really hard to get to, and even harder to aim an arrow at the right spot to get exactly the piece that you need. So I'm here to show you really good spots to find these dragons. We're gonna start off with Nadra, and we're heading to the Lanayru region. We're gonna to go to the shrine up here, the Jitan Sami Shrine at the Spring of Wisdom. If you don't have access to this shrine yet, this video is not for you. Uh, you have no idea what I'm talking about, and you need to leave now, spoiler alert, go away. Um, if you do have access to the shrine and you know what's going on with the dragons, uh, then stick with me and I'll show you some sweet stuff. Um, if you're like me, you've probably struggled with trying to figure them out, but luckily I've spent some time and found some really good places uh, that work very well for farming and give you really good vantage points to get exactly what you need. So straight off from this shrine, we're going to head out and we're going to go left and we're going to climb up these rocks and we're going to head up to the top of the mountain here. Um, let me go ahead and uh, maybe speed this up a little bit until we get to the top. All right, here we are at the top of Mount Lanayru. Now, if you're like me, you might have uh, chilled up here waiting for the dragon, looking for her, and uh, maybe you're lucky. I don't know. I've never found her up here. I uh, spent a few days, uh, in-game days, of, of looking for her, waiting for her to show, and she never did. So what I did when I actually found her is I took off to the north. I'm going to head all the way down to the base of the mountain here. Um, and we're going to look for uh, a good flat spot to land because... The important thing here, before you come, uh, you're going to want to make sure that you have a handful of uh, wood piles uh, with you in stock and some flint or a fire weapon or some fire arrows to start a fire. Um, so anyway, we're going to head down to the base of this mountain and we're going to uh, look for a good spot where we can chill. I'll go ahead and speed up on this part as well. All right, here we are at the base of the mountain. Basically, what we want to do um, is, uh, in a perfect world, we want to get some high ground, um, but it's going to be tough to find... Oh, Jesus, she's like right there. Spoiler alert! <laughs> uh, in a perfect world, you want to find some flat ground, um, and you can just do it at the bottom there because you just want to make a fire. Um, and you're gonna sit next to that fire, and you're gonna sleep. You're gonna sit in, until morning. When morning comes, it's gonna be 5 a.m. Uh, luckily for me, I'm already kind of at a good time in the morning. When you get here, you're gonna look up to the left, and we're gonna see Nadra the dragon coming around from the left right away. Uh, what you want to do is try, and uh, unfortunately, I kind of have a little bit of bad timing. Uh, but you want to get a little bit of high ground, climb up the mountain when you see her. And we're going to try and jump off and just head straight towards her. And you're going to get a perfect shot at anything you want. Slow-mo. Beam right into her head there. Uh, keep in mind, just like that, uh, the dragons will send elemental attacks at you. Uh, so that's going to be a thing. Not really too much of a problem, though. Um, now it's just the task of finding the shard. Uh, luckily, it's only about a mile away, so we'll swim over there and grab it. Uh, but as you can see, that's a really good spot to uh, aim exactly at the horns, uh, the teeth, the claws. It's, you have a really perfect man shot. So that's the, the best spot that I've found to find Nadra, the most consistent 
a time of day to find her. Um, luckily for me, as I made this video, I just happened to be uh, early in the morning uh, when she was flying by. I'm going to grab this shard and then we'll speed up to the next one. All right, everybody, here we are at Gore Tor Shrine, and you can't see that text uh, on the video here, but we're up in the Elden region at the far north, uh, basically straight north of Death Mountain. Uh, this is Gut Check Rock. This is the Gut Check mini game that the Goron has. If you don't have this shrine, you're going to want to hoof it here um, and get this shrine uh, so you can warp here. Uh, straight west of this location, you can see on the map the Elden Great Skeleton. Uh, this is exactly where we're going to go to find... Uh, Din Rawl Dragon. So I'm gonna hoof it over there and I'll speed it up until I get there. All right, everybody, here we are at the Elden Great Skeleton uh, side quest uh, side note here. Um, what we're going to do here is you're actually going to aim for the rocks up to the left here on this side. Um, and you're going to want to find a flat spot here and make a fire. And we're going to sit until morning, just like Nadra. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's grab some flint. Let's drop that. All right, we will sit until morning. Here we go. We'll take a break. Good morning. Here we go. 
we are. Okay, what you want to do um, is you want to see if he's if she's coming first. So basically, you just look straight up. And I don't know if she spawns every day. She dragon spawns every day, but she's there. If you if you see her there, what you're gonna want to do is start running up the mountain here a little bit and get to this next ledge because we want some high ground to get a good vantage spot to uh, start paragliding to. So I'm gonna jump up there real quick, and then we will uh, take in the glorious wonder that is Dinral, my favorite dragon by far. Okay, so I like this ledge up here. Also pretty flat for a fire if you want to do it up here, and that'll trigger it as well. So we're looking for Dinral. We'll watch her come down, because uh, she's amazing. Alright, she's getting pretty close here, so we want to get ready to jump, um, and we want to kind of like match with her head, and we want to be able to get a good shot here. So I'm going to go ahead and jump off here as the wind starts picking up. We're going to try and aim straight uh, alongside her head here, uh, keep in mind of the flames, and we're going to get a really, really good vantage shot of the horn, uh, her teeth, uh, the claws, and the scales, and I'm going to go ahead and just, we will... Uh, Wait a little bit for her head to pop up. A little slow motion. Shoot an arrow. Completely miss. Let's get it here. There we go. We got her. Um, I, I could have done a little bit better getting a little bit closer there, but you can definitely see... Uh, how easy it is to, to get up close to her, to get exactly what you want. Pick up my scale here. Keep in mind that if you follow her too long, there is a Lionel right here. So you want to be aware that if you're not prepared to take on Lionels, especially a stronger Lionel like this, um, you want to try and get to her a little bit quicker or uh, glide a little bit longer. Regardless, jump down, pick up your scale, and you can just warp out to the next area as soon as possible. I'm going to go ahead and catch you in the next one in just a moment. Alright everybody, here we are at Shai Uto Shrine. This one is down here in the south of the Faron Tower region. Um, and this is by the Lakeside Stable, the shrine right next to it. So you're going to work to this one. Now instead of needing uh, logs or uh, wood bundles to make a fire to sit, we actually have a stable right here so we can just sleep. So what we're going to do... Um, regardless of what time of day it is, we can probably find the dragon right now, but we're going to go inside the stable, and I'm going to talk to this guy, and we're going to rest until morning, uh, just like we would sit until morning here. Uh -oh. And I'm going to take a bite. And good morning. Here we go. So as soon as we're done, we want to sprint out towards the bridge. Uh, right off to the right here, and we're going to keep an eye up on the left side, and we should see Farash coming over the mountain there right away. We're going to sprint over here because we're going to get ourselves as much time to get here as possible, uh, even though there's plenty to get here. If you if you miss your first advantage, she's going to swoop down under the bridge. She's going to go up and over that waterfall. She's going to come back over the waterfall, and she's going to swoop right back down up and over this bridge. You'll have two really good opportunities to land nice accurate shots. I'm going to go ahead and switch to a bow that's a little bit less, even though all my bows are basically the same. Switch to a bow that's a little bit less multi-shotty uh, than the five arrows here. Um, she's basically going to come like right under the bridge, like right here. It's going to be amazing. Uh, we're going to want to get up in the air 
so we can get over there and get a nice clean shot of whatever we want. She dips down into the water, slow time, beam that horn right there. You're probably going to get hit, it's whatever, it's not going to do that much to you. We'll take a look around and see where our shard lands. Uh oh, I'm getting hit a lot here. Oh, where's my shard, man? Might need to, uh... It might be up on the bridge. I need to get up out of the water. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward here until I get out, and we'll find my shard. Alright guys, here we go. I found my shard. It actually ended up right on the bridge. Um, now, when the, where the shards land is going to be a little bit kind of crazy because they shoot out in a random direction, but it usually tries to send it in a, conven in a convenient-ish spot. Uh, but anyway, these three spots um, guaranteed to find you dragons in no time at all. I'm not 100% certain yet that they spawn every day. Um, so if you find if I find Farash, I go sleep in the stable. I'm not 100 percent sure he's gonna be there tomorrow in the, in the exact same time, like every day. Regardless, uh, very good farming spots, guaranteed to find you a dragon if you do ex uh, go to the spots where I showed you and rest until morning. Uh, you will find the dragons. You'll get great vantage points to be able to shoot exactly the part that you need to farm up the pieces you need super quick for those awesome end game upgrades. Uh, so I, I hope you enjoyed, I hope this helps you out a lot. Uh, be sure to leave in the comments what you think uh, I can do next in videos to help with other guides and tips and tutorials, tricks, whatever. I've played a lot of this game and I think I have a lot of information that can help out and I'm making a series of videos now. Uh, be sure to check out some of the other ones that I'm doing, uh, but also let me know if there's anything else that you think I can help you out with. Um, also, I'm going to be streaming about 24-7 for the rest of this week until about Sunday night, so be sure to check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash danioe4. That link will be in the description below. Once again, thank you so much for your time. I hope this helped you out. I appreciate it. You have a great rest of your day. See you next time.